Hey everyone, this is Nikita and this week we're going to talk about the Brawlgar Arena. This is an arena where you fight some sort of bosses and you get ranks. There are 8 ranks and each rank has 4 bosses. At rank 4 you can buy yourself a new pet and at rank 8 you can get leveling fist weapons. What's special about this arena is that the encounters are not faced and only one player can be in combat at a time while the other players watch him. In order to fight in the arena, you must first que up. You can do that by talking to one of the guards nearby. But to be able to que for a match, you must get invited to the Brawler's Guild either by Brawler's Pass from another player or by obtaining a blood-soaked invitation. You can get the invitation for a thousand gold from the black market or you can kill some rare mobs in the Krasarang wilds. If you're Horde, you'll want to farm it in the Lion's Landing, and if you're Alliance, you'll be farming it at Domination Point. You only need one invitation per account. Yes, once you're invited on one of your characters, you can go in the arena with all other max level characters that you have. It works even cross-faction and cross-realm. When you get an invitation, you can go to the arena and queue up for the battle. When your battle is closing in, it will display it on your screen as you are next in line. While waiting for battle, you can watch other players as they fight the bosses and maybe even learn something from them. I will just show you some of the bosses because I've not yet defeated all of them. First boss is really easy. It's a crocolisk named Bruce and he only has one ability. When he starts casting the ability, you have to move quickly or he one-shots you. But that's all he can do. Most bosses here have some abilities that one-shot you if you don't move away, so pay close attention when you're fighting them or you won't get far. Every time when you win a match, you get some gold and a grey item that can be sold to vendors for some extra gold. Another feature of Brawlgar Arena is the statistics. You can see the statistics of every boss here. The first number is how many players a boss has killed and the second number is how many times the boss was killed. Holder of the best ratio is currently a rank 8 boss, Epicus Maximus, who has killed 250 players but only one has managed to kill him. So you can see that bosses become much harder at higher ranks. The second boss again isn't hard. He has more abilities though. There are fiery orbs that you have to dodge and fire lane and he also casts lava burst, which you can interrupt. Some bosses can be crowd controlled while others can't. This one for example can be, which makes him an easy boss. Sometimes when a match is over, some spectators get mad and just attack a nearby player because they lost the bet. You can just kill them or use an expired brew that you can buy here. Throw that bottle at them to cool them down and get an achievement. While they don't hurt you very much, it can be a deadly experience if you're spectating games with a lower level character. That's why I suggest that you go spectate the matches up on the pillar that is nearby. You can do that by jumping on the demolisher, then the boxes and on the pillar. You also have a nice view from up here. Sometimes arena bugs and more players get teleported inside at once and also more bosses spawn at the same time. We were 4 players inside and when I got teleported inside the first player killed his boss and we all won the match. Ok, this is a bit harder boss. He casts devastating thrust in front of him which is a one shot if it hits you. You have to move really fast or you're done for it. This boss starts already with about 20% health, you can see that half of his head is missing, but it's still a hell to kill him. He cannot be crowd controlled in any way, which makes it an even bigger threat. Also if you have a little lag here, you won't escape his one shot ability unless you do it like I do and blink away every time. You should have a DPS pack in Brawlgar Arena, because there is a timer, and if you don't kill the boss in that time, fire starts raining and you get killed. Now that we're rank 4, we can buy a pet that the vendor sells. 
it's a mechanical rare pet and costs almost nothing. I hope you enjoyed my video, like, comment and subscribe, I make new videos every Thursday. Thanks for watching!